Hi, this is Steve. This is Bob. This is Jay. We are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. And on this episode, we're going to give you a brief glimpse into what is coming up in 2022. These are the science fiction shows that the three of us are most looking forward to for the rest of this year. It's already been a great year. There's already been a couple yeah. of really, like, with with Spider-Man, which we've already reviewed. There's a lot of other cool stuff coming out. But what what's coming up? that you guys are looking forward to the most. I think we all have the same number one. Yeah. Don't you think like? I think so. Yeah. You think so? You want to okay. Strange say? New World. Strange New World. Yeah, yeah so oh the, my God. the latest Star Trek series, so let me, let me like summarize this for you real quick. So we predicted this <laughs> on this show. <laughs> we said that Anson Mount uh, playing Captain Pike, he was the best thing in season two, two of Discovery. So we were we were blown away by how great he was as Captain Pike and we were like, oh my God, could you imagine if he had his own TV show and would they do it? Would they do it? Would they, you know, the they geniuses do behind yeah. Star Trek <laughs> decided to, do to, it. to take our advice. So I, I found out a little bit of backstory here. I'm not 100% sure how true this is, but what I'm hearing on the, the street is that the people who are in charge of Star Trek right now decided that they needed to put a series out that was gonna reunite the Star Trek fandom, because when Discovery came out, there was people who loved Discovery and people who hated it. A lot of the haters were saying that Star Trek, you know, isn't really about that. Star Trek is about competency porn. It's about the relationships between the characters. Mm -hmm. It's about you know, you know, doing a lot of good. Um, and I, I have a, uh, I really enjoy the episodic format better. Mm -hmm. This is basically like you know, one hour show, they have a mission, they go do it, and then the mission is over, and then rinse and repeat, right? Planet of the week, alien of the week so scenario. Star Trek the original series, Star Trek the Next Generation largely had episodic episodes. Now yeah, they have an but arc. with but you gotta have these plots that arc through this episodic sure. episodes. And you could have you could have ones that, that are multi um, seasonal yeah. plots yeah. Plot like arcs the Borg well. was a great plot line for, for next gen. But I'll tell you in the original series like the most important thing was the relationship of that that bridge yeah. crew. I loved every character and they all had their own thing going mm -hmm. on and I, and I find that to be so provocative. So that's what it seems like they're doing. That's what we really hope that they're gonna mm -hmm. do. Um, I watched all the previews. Of course they're gonna do that. I mean, how you're not gonna do this series and not make it as close to the original series as possible. I, I think you're right. I mean, this, right? Is, this is the best chance that we're ever gonna get to get a series that is similar to the original series, but a modernized version yeah. of it, right? Because right. I, God forbid, another reboot. No reboots, man. I hate the reboot. I don't like anything to do with rebooting. I just don't do that. Like, write a different story. So yeah. now they chose Captain Pike. It's great, it's perfect. And the other cool thing is Captain Pike knows when he's gonna die. Mm -hmm. So it, what, ah, that character- How and when. How yeah. and exactly when. I mean, that character has like a huge shank around his <laughs> neck, you know what I mean? Like, like think about it, he's, yeah. uh, he can't, it's inescapable. And we get young Spock. Yeah, which, you know? is, which is fantastic. Spock, hello. Yeah. yeah. What else do we gotta say? So we, got, we get the, the old Enterprise, but mm. but the but not the old Enterprise. It's the it's a modern, modern version, modern iteration. version of the old Enterprise. Yes, the way yeah. the way it really should have looked maybe in the sixties, but of course never would because the because the this imagination is a upgraded and the money special effects of the original right ship. Yeah, I saw some with the good homages though, with the homage to the old the old classic. Mm -hmm. They did ship, a good job. Right? They're using a lot of the vibrant colors, yep. Yep. which I think is cool. Like mm -hmm. when you see some of the other rooms, I, I saw all the previews that they had out there yeah. and. You get introduced to like the engineer of the ship, who's yeah. really cool. You want me to tell you like what you learn real quick? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. He's blind. Oh yeah, blind the, engineer. The, the engineer is blind, and it's cool. It's really cool because yeah. he, he's saying that it's actually you know he was saying like is you know the whole like his other uh, senses are enhanced and all that stuff. But yeah. I just thought it was really cool. He's living like, in a virtual world world of his engineering. I think thing. he I think he is like he has some type of constructed uh, reality that yeah. he, he's got going cool. on because he is aware of everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. But you know the thing I really liked about it and I was talking to to my friend Steve, you know Steve Blackwell about this. Um, in the in this 30 second snap you know snapshot yeah. you get to see of the engineer the character seemed very provocative and really cool. Like I just want to learn mm. more about the character. That's a so good sign. They, That's yeah. a good sign. And then they, one of the, you know, the uh, the pilot for the for the uh, the ship. I think the character looks awesome. Ahura is on this. Oh yeah. So Ahura, yes, yeah, so Ahura is, is a part of this on? crew. Well, she was a part of the original crew, I guess. That's so, yeah. I guess what? she was already no. assigned to the Enterprise before Captain Kirk took over. So there's no McCoy. Okay. No mm -hmm, McCoy, right. but Ahura is the, is there, and I think interesting. I, I didn't see any other characters that were like you know characters that we would know already in the crew. Right. Well, so number they, one, number one, and number I, one, I, yeah. I I know something else about this series. They cast 
James Kirk. Yes, I heard about that. But we that. don't know what role he's going to play. Probably, I'm sure it's going to be a cameo. But they Second can, season, though. They cast you. him. Second How season. can they have someone play Kirk <laughs> who isn't going to talk like that? How can they do it? They could do it. Without the Shatner uh, inflection? Right. I mean, uh, how can I, they? All Kirk, right. Kirk, I don't envy the actor. Steve, Kirk is shoes. that. Kirk know, is Shatner, you know? So, all right, so that's one thing. Okay. So that's a Star Trek franchise. Okay. We're going to get um, Strange New Worlds. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, there's going to be a couple of Star Wars things coming out. Yes. So the thing I'm most looking forward to in the Star Wars franchise <laughs> is Obi-Wan. Yes. Obi-Wan, which I don't know if I, he's my favorite character in the Star Wars nah. universe, but he's he's up there. And I love Ewan McGregor's yeah. oh, Obi-Wan. Yes. And Ewan McGregor is reprising the role. Wow. So, man. you know, right there. Now, I read some interesting stuff about Obi-Wan. So first of all, it was supposed to be a movie. Mm-hmm. And then... When when the solo movie crashed, you know, uh, and didn't make any money, they got they said, all right, we're not doing any more movies, and of these spinoff movies, right? Yeah. So they said, but we're going to do is just we'll do um, like limited series, which I think is better okay. anyway. Do so we know how many episodes we're getting? I heard that Great. it's going to be six. Okay, so six, six hours ish. Six. Uh, they they at one point they <laughs> they went down to three, but then I think they're back to really? six. Really, I was joking. Holy no, crap! No, but they really did. They so I think they're back to six. They also. So here's an interesting thing. They they had the whole thing written. The six episodes were written. And um, then they gave it to Favreau to look at. Yep. And he's like, this is way too similar to The Mandalorian. Because the Whoa. plot was going to be Obi-Wan taking, you know, taking care of a young Force user on Tatooine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hello. And it was they were like, it's just it was like two Mandalorian and Grogu. And yeah. he's like, no. Nah. Hello. Hello. And so they said, all right, we need to rewrite the script and make it bigger. And so mm-hmm. it's not just, you know, on Tatooine. Um, and so they they did. They rewrote it. I like and that. Um, and they and it looks like it's gonna be good. So um so you know, we, looking forward to it. Watch the preview. All right, watch the trailer. Yeah. It is Dark mm-hmm. and it's gritty. Dark and gritty, which I love. It's not. Yeah. It's really the, the, if anything I've ever seen in Star Wars. This is not kid oriented. It doesn't feel like it's kid Good. oriented. You know, I meaning it's a little. It's a little bit grungier. It's a little bit darker. This is a dark time yeah. in the in the storyline. And I really, love the oh darkest. God. This is like the real dark. Whoever darkest. the bad guy is. The, the trailer, they did such a good job with the Well, they the have trailer. Inquisitors. Yeah, There's so the, several Inquisitors that are yeah the, the main bad guys. And the Inquisitor is essentially saying, don't worry, we'll find the Jedi. It's like, you know, it's kind of like a sickness what they have. Like, they leave a trail wherever they go of their mercy, you know, of yeah, how they, good they, they are. They can't help but be good guys if they'll give themselves away. Yeah. Whoa. It was and so dark, nice, Bob. It was nice. really cool. You know who else I know they cast? <laughs> what? For the for this series? Say it. Hayden Christensen. Oh, yes? No way. Whoa. Whoa. Holy yeah. shit! Is he gonna? Is he as as Darth Vader? He has Vader, to be as Darth Vader. As, wait, as an unmasked Darth Vader? I don't know. Or as Darth That's all Vader? I know. I just told you everything <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, man. So they cast him as Darth. Yeah. You know, so I, I had a love. I have had a love hate relationship <laughs> with, with that guy. I, He's I, a great actor. I love Sand. him now. I love him now. He. Sand. I've seen him in other things. I'm like, this guy's fine. He's a it's perfectly cromulent director. Right? He, it was Lucas. I mean, come on. He was directed like shit, and the, and the writing was bad, and it's not his fault we, we, at all. Let's not go down that rabbit hole yeah, again. Not now. Please. But I think we're going to purge a lot of the negative feelings yeah. with, with, with Obi-Wan. Um, he, he, filling he, in the gap, you know, it's like 10 years. It's like right in the middle of that gap after the third movie, before the fourth movie. Uh-huh. And it's, <laughs> it's going to be here's, awesome. uh, here's one thing that I was disappointed about. In the original script, yeah. you know who the main villain was going to be? Darth Maul. Oh, yeah. That and they got rid good. of him. He's not in there. Um, Darth Maul, who made a little cameo at the end of Solo, if you remember, mm-hmm. and who actually appears oh, yeah. in Star Wars Rebels, which is which is a little bit after this. I so like the he's actor. Out there. I the like the actor who is plays out him. There. Yeah. The actor is really cool. I mean, he is a you know he is a martial artist. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah um, and he's been dying to play Darth Maul again. He's been like ba- basically putting it out there, like if you need me to play Darth Maul, I'm in. I'll I'm come to in. your living room. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> but he, uh, yeah, yeah. So. Um, I, I was a little disappointed to hear that they wrote him out of the, the revised script, but I think they replaced him with the Inquisitors. You know who are the Inquisitors to, are awesome. They're going to be definitely. they're going to be badass. They're going to be badass. All right, so All right, we're looking else? forward to that. What yes, else is coming? What else out? we got, Bob? Well, what about Avatar Two? Avatar Two is you know look, is you know it's been a long time. What's it been? It's Twenty been, years? It's been no two thousand what nine. 
Oh, it was longer. No, no, in the 2000, yeah, no, like 2008 well, or nine, Avatar came out, or was it right. 11? So let's talk about it. Like, what's the problem? What, what are you worried about? And what, what are the good and bads here? I mean, so I, with any kind of a sequel, I'm always worried that it's going to just be a redo. Right. Like they're not going to add anything new. Right. There's going to be a retread. Here's more of the stuff that you loved, and we're just going to take our instant profit and move and, on. But it's Cameron. And, yeah. well, and he's, there's like talk of, Avatar three, four, and five, like like three or four sequels after. Like why why would you focus on so much on multiple sequels when if the second one tanks, uh, I don't know how. Well, then they cancel. Them. Then then they, yeah, yeah, they but that could be a huge sunk cost right there. But I got to remember, this is James Cameron. Yeah, uh, you got to give him the benefit of the doubt. Absolutely, this guy. I mean, I mean, we're talking Terminator two, we're talking the the Abyss, Titanic. I mean, this guy. This, he breaks new ground with every movie, and he has been working on technology for mm. for this movie. And from what I've heard, of, it's going to focus a lot on the, the the water environment, the ocean environments, and apparently, it's going to be the the best underwater underwater scenes ever ever put on film. That would be so, put on film, and well, he could do it. He could do it. On a positive side. It you know the Avatar, the original Avatar movie was great world building. Oh, great world building. They wrote a whole language. They wrote the Navi and language for it. It yeah. was very, very scientific. Very, they, yes. they took it seriously to make it uh, like a hard, hard-ish science. I'm not science. sure about the floating rocks things, but they, well, it was yeah. otherwise good. And so it's an interesting world, good world building, interesting culture. So if they, so again, that's a great starting point, great backdrop. Yeah. If they have good storytelling, it'll be great. Yeah, right. yeah. If As they're usual. just, if they're just phoning it in to just make a quick buck off of Avatar, it's going to suck. And that's not Cameron. Cameron to me so, doesn't doesn't do that. So I, I have high hopes for it. You know, I honestly like when I think about the world, I'm mm -hmm. not sure where they're going to go with the story. You know, like it's yeah. not intuitive. Like, you know, there yeah. wasn't a lot left undone with the first movie. No, I mean, I read a little bit about it, a little bit of what the plot's going to be. It's there's going to be some new conflict. So apparently, you know, the conflict. two the two main characters now have like their own tribe that they create and there's something's going to happen that's going to put them in and they have to go to war with the humans again. So that's why I'm like, all right, it could be great, could be fantastic, but if they're just going to do another version of the same plot they did last time, then I would be disappointed. So it we'll just have be. to wait and see. I'm going to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's a wait I mean, and see. It's it a is. wait. That's a wait and see one. Okay. Yeah. All right. What else? Another what else? huge franchise is coming out with a movie, multiple actually, but the next big one I think is going to be um, Doctor Strange, yes, the second Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange movie. Um, that the preview. madness of the multiverse. Or it something. looks. It looks very good. That the preview, preview was amazing. Knocks your socks yeah, off. really. Like, and here we are with the multiverse again, right? Well, I, mean, I think the, I think Strange is like at the focal point of the multiverse. Yes, so yeah. As we got a sort of a hint that in the, in the Spider Man movie, No Way Home, Doctor Strange, I think, is what's going to, is the nexus point. And if you, I loved the episode. If you remember the the show What If, which I think we reviewed, we reviewed What If, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one fantastic. of the best episodes was the Doctor Strange episode. You know, where he basically destroys an entire universe. Uh, that he can get really powerful, you know, yeah. and he can cast spells, as we learned in Spider-Man, that can affect the, you know, the, the, the multiverse, that can bridge the multiverse. So that's what's, what's going to happen. Um, and again, I think that it has tremendous storytelling potential. I love Benedict Cumberbatch. I love the Doctor Strange character. I think they underplay him a little bit. I mm -hmm. was... My, my big disappointment with Doctor Strange as a character is that they have a brilliant scientist learning magic. And the to me, the obvious connection there, right. why is he so powerful? Because he, he's, when do, when do you ever have a scientist learning magic? He's taking a scientific approach yeah. to how magic works. He's deconstructing it. He's, he's, he's taking a reductionist scientific approach to magic and he makes it, more powerful than anyone who yeah. came before him. He rings more out of it than yeah. everybody else. Anyway, can. I think they don't really play that up. No, they kind of dropped it. Yeah, literally. they kind of dropped that. But well, now, they, now he's just super powerful. But but I still love the character. Well, all the elements are there, right? It's, yeah. it's Marvel. Um, you know, Cumberbatch is amazing. Yeah. We already Although his American accent's a little dodgy. Yeah. He's getting better. He, uh, you know. Penguin. The character, Penguin. yeah, that was right. Like, <laughs> the character is very good. Yeah, you know, I love, I love, love Doctor it. Strange. You know, I, I love this version of Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. So I have high hopes for it. I'm not really even that worried about it. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm just dying to see it. Yeah. And I'm going to try to see this in the theater. I don't want to see yeah. any more movies. Yeah, it'll be a home. good one to see in the Big theater. Screen. Although I don't mind seeing them on on the home theater, but. 
Um, and I also like to, you know, trying to see them as cold as possible. But you know, obviously doing the show, we have to you have to look some stuff up. But that's one that, uh, other than the the commercials, I'm trying not to learn too much about. But that's definitely, I think, one to look forward to. Marvel's coming out with with other movies, but the other one is Morbius, mm-hmm. which is a new a new character for the cinematic universe. Um, wow. It's a living vampire, basically, mm-hmm. who just gets a lot of gnarly powers. So, again, I, I don't know much about it, to be honest with, with you, at this point in time. Um, it looks like an interesting character. Um, um, Jared Leto is mm-hmm. playing yeah. the character, yeah. so He's I good. think that seems to fit his vibe. Uh, so there's a lot of potential there. That is his vibe. Yeah, that is his vibe. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, an- another Marvel, since we're on the Marvel chain, I saw the first episode of Moon Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you watched it with yeah. us. Yeah. And it's starring. Different. Os- Weird. Yeah. Uh, Oscar Isaac, who did a great job. Um, it was a very intriguing first episode. Again, a brand new, again, to the cinematic universe. I know it's in the based on comic book characters, but in the cinematic universe, a new character with a lot of a different vibe. You know, the, he's you know right you learn right off like and you know that it's the the it, the guy has a split personality where he, you know, he his um his his day character you know is doesn't even has no experience of the superhero character. Mm-hmm. So the first episode, you're just with the ordinary character. And where the gaps in there, are, where there are gaps in his stream of consciousness, where just suddenly it's it's a day he's later, somewhere else, and, wow. he, and his jaw is busted, and he's like, "What's what happened?" You know, um, that would suck. You don't even get to see the see the the superhero, the Moon Knight, till the end of the first episode. Really intriguing, well done. Oscar Isaac does a fantastic job in that. I, first I episode. want more. I want, I want to see more. What happens. Absolutely. So that's looking forward to seeing the rest yeah. of that season as as well. I'll get right on that. I haven't seen it yet. It's very good. Very good. What All else? Right. How about um, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, as Black Adam? Black Adam, I know. That, wow. So it's DC Universe. Right, but uh, that looks, I mean, just to have him as a, this is like, imagine an, an evil Captain Marvel, basically, right? And, and I mean, they're calling him anti-hero, not a villain. Right. But, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, this guy looks, I would do not want to get on the wrong side of this dude. I mean, he, he looks like a, like an evil Superman. Uh, he, he's yeah. intimidating. Because this it's The Rock. I mean, he's got yeah, yeah. the charisma. And when he's going on the the dark side. It's like, damn, man, you yeah. walk away. And he makes kind of an anti-hero Justice League kind of thing. You know, oh, really? Very DC, yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I just know like I the, qu- the quickie him. version of the character is that he was some kind of Egyptian, Egyptian. god hero thing from 5,000 years ago and he got locked away for 5,000 years. And he's pissed. And now he's pissed. So that's... Yeah. No, he's like, no one's taking <laughs> me I'd be down pissed too. Can. I mean, think about it. That would suck. True, but right. he looks cool, man. All right, all right, guys, so we recommend that you uh, you watch all these. We're really excited about them. We're going to see them. Mm-hmm. If uh, if you want to learn more about Alpha Quadrant 6 and see some more of our episodes, you can go to alphaquadrant6.com. That's Alpha Quadrant, the number six. Or if you want to help support this show, you can go to patreon.com forward slash alphaquadrant6, and we will see you next time. Mm-hmm.